<sighs> All right. Fucking Kingdom Hearts thing. Okay. See you, run. A guard break. Unleash a powerful finishing combo move that pierces to a target's guard. Uh, I'll take this. Yes. Uh, yeah, I get a dodge roll. Okay. That should be all I need. Uh. Yeah, it should be fine. Alright, welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. Uh, last time we fucking shrek people over Hollow Bastion. Uh, this time we fucking kill dragons. Uh. And by the way, we also have this now. Which is performed with the same button as. That is performed with the same button as that one, so. Very easy to perform one over the other. Okay. But, um. Let's figure this out here. Let's figure this out here. Damn, she has a lot of damage. Defeat the mysterious man. Oh yeah. So the mysterious man here hurts. Yeah, uh, meanwhile you join us in anime battles. Ah, forgot that he always preps his attack before he does it. This way? Really? Oh, well, unless you get trapped in an animation like that, it's usually not too bad. Oh yeah, these little fucks aren't bad, but they can actually save you a, a lot of time. Be like speed traps. It'd be great if I could actually get my dash attack off, though. There we go. So, I want your opinion. Uh... Should I do Atlantica on or off screen? Because I was thinking about that today. I'm like, should I do that on or off? I don't know. Stock up on potions. Just got fucking bless and spamming the fuck out of those. Yeah, uh, those are the ones that aren't actually on the field. They're just there for intimidation purposes. Uh, it's it's just like I think five songs in a row. Which, really, if I fail a single time, I suck. Famous last words. But it gives me a uh, Orichalcum Plus, which I need in order to, um... Make a Ultima Weapon. Oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, I can't get that. Wait, okay, that's my final weakening puzzle piece.
So, uh, any skins you can use? Uh, no. Unfortunately not, that's not seen yet. You can fight a boss that uses it as a legit weapon. Dude, that should be OP as fuck, dude. Wait till Kingdom Hearts 3. Then, then we got you. It goes, I think this part goes like right here. Alright. Dude, right? Swag. Dude, wait till I get super glide. This is gonna this game's gonna fucking reek of that. I legit won't be using my legs anymore because I'm just gonna be fucking flying everywhere. Ugh. I love the design of this fucking drive form though. It's so cool. I, I think I was technically supposed to use master form there though. Wait! Alright. Uh, snipers. Fuck these things. Fuck everything about these fucking things. So this guy I'm kind of just obliterating, so it doesn't look too bad. But these guys can legit one, legit one shot you. Yes. <laughs> 
Ooh, with a fucking slag finish, too. Whew, okay, that looked pretty cool. <clears throat> Alright, palace map. There's a lot of goodies in here. Ori Calcum, very useful. Mythic Crystal. This should be torn pages. Yes. Queen recipe. We just had got the recipe to Donald's ultimate weapon. AP boost. Pretty useful. And that is uh, Goofy's first new weapon in the entire game. Okay. Um. Actually, I think I'm gonna swap out Goofy prematurely, though. Simply because I think Dolan's just slightly better than this upcoming battle. Anyway, Dragon. More useful if you, you know, whips. I was wrong about that. But as you saw, you can use uh, Mulan to just get up on his back for free. I thought it was going to be fucking super cool and just stay on there. Ah, uh, except when you get fucking stuck on the back of his head when you think your combo's just going to want you forward. Right. 
what's up, baby? Wow, so in range of that? That's ridiculous range. Alright, now he's gonna start charging up Mega Flare. I was trying to get in range to see if I could reflect the Mega Flare damage. I preemptively got out of my tornado, assuming that he was going to use that attack. Perfect. I still haven't gotten the cancel yet, where I can legit just like jump and get my reflect damage off at the same time. I could increase my damage output by a fuck ton if I could pull that off. Flares. This fight lasts a little bit. Oh my god. Howdy, neighbor. We're up here now. Oh, that's annoying. For China. My oh, way. Okay. I was not expecting this. This uh, attack pattern. Oh, fuck, I'm bad. Fuck. I'll see if I can be fucking clean. Oh 
Oh my god, dude, I'm fucking clean as shit. I'm actually clean as shit. What's up, baby? Like, if we're gonna make a fucking swag finish montage, that needs to be in there. Trophy earned above honor. Fucking win that, win that world. But 21 minutes is not long enough. 21 minutes isn't long enough. I promise dragoons, so we're gonna go get dragoons. Uh, drive boost allows greater restoration of drive gauge during epic charge. Yes, I want this. This is the thing that I want. <laughs> this ability got such a crazy buff in this version. Ooh, unlucky. Yes. The kitchen. Thankfully, uh, using uh, Twin Howl was just an insanely good way to clear off uh, that battle once they start grouping on you like that. Now morning star will start spawning there, so be careful, because as you can see, just one shot down. Okay, so we now have access to save the queen. This is Donald's one of his best weapons. In this game, you can get save the queen plus, which is basically just the same exact thing. It's just it's more obnoxious. But uh, just get all the dents. Uh, materials and a couple of rake outcomes and you can get save the queen plus but even still that's still not his best weapon we need like a a premium mushroom plus or something like that that's his best or some stupid shit like that which we get from a mini game later on so i like to point out that the battle level for the land of dragons was 35 i'm level 28 i'm a tad under leveled uh, right now, I think I need to go over to Beast Room. <gasps> oh, it's bulky vendor. Alright, so bulky vendors. First of all, clear out everyone immediately. Dude, you cracked the code. Alright. So, bulky vendors. Their HP will always be dropping. If you get just the right time, you get a prime capsule. Got it. Got the prime capsule. This is a rare drop. Orichalcum. He just gave me Orichalcum and a Serenity Crystal. Two incredibly rare items. The only other way to get those is a 1% chance drop from destroyers or some shit. Man, he's mighty mad. Mighty, mighty mad. It's a good thing we don't care. <laughs> and then I walk up again. I'm like, howdy, neighbor. Rumbling Rose. One of my first favorite keyblades in the game. Uh, it has slightly shorter reach than the Oath Keeper. It has no magic. But... It, it's just so fucking powerful. 
I'd probably replace these at some point. Uh, that's probably not that bad. Uh, once I re-equip Thundara here. Okay, but before we move on, we, there's a boss fight we need to get cucked by real fast. Huh. Doesn't that look familiar? Absent Silhouette Marluxia. Now this fight is unique among just every battle in the game. He will not directly damage your health bar, except for one attack, but we'll, we'll, you'll, I'll show you that when it comes up. He instead be begins the battle by casting Doom. The Doom counter is equivalent to your level. The number will go down by one every time you're hit. As such. But as you can see, he actually does no damage. Look at that HP bar. So this attack will either do a metric shit ton of damage, or you can choose to refill some of your doom counter. Which I will. Oh, except for I went to the wrong side, so it doesn't matter. Uh, you have to go to the side where the scythe is on. So I'm going to keep my distance to help he uses it again. Nope. Alright, this is the only attack in his arsenal that can do damage to you. Oh, no, this is. Oh! Fuck! Uh, I need to use Reflect there, not fucking... Be a fucking cuck lord. Alright, let me try that one more time. Hold up. <laughs> Uno mas, hold up. Because this fight is actually relatively easy compared to most of them, if you know how it works. I think I need to delay that a little bit just so I can get off the reflect damage. That attack is incredibly easy to dodge once you have glide, but I don't, so... It's kind of pure luck I'm actually dodging it. But I could cancel this if I had fire. Well, if I could, if I had uh, a guaranteed gap closer, if I don't. I'm trying to keep him in the air as long as possible. Ooh. Oh, fuck, the fucking jump back killed me. Sorry, you fucking yuts. Alright, that's unfortunate. Oh, and the fucking Crimson Jazz spawns here now. Let me get out of here. Most dangerous heartless in the game. Even according to like people like Bizkit. There's a lot of them in here apparently. So Ooh, that's unlucky. So, Dragoons 
will give will have you actually command learn. If you pre successfully perform learn, it will give you access to one jump. What this does is incredibly powerful attack that makes you invincible and does a metric fuck ton of damage. So whenever you can use jump, get it. You have no reason not to. It has an AOE effect at the end of it too. Bam. Ooh, he's a fucking rock, dude. Ooh, dude, that was actually... I, I usually don't go through that fight that cleanly. Usually have a much harder time. Anyway, I'm gonna quickly stock up, see if I can get anything, see if I can make anything. I doubt it, but... Free development. Alright. But, the upcoming fight... Aside from Demix, some people even consider this guy to be harder than Demix. This is the most one of, if not the most notorious fight in the game. Like when people think Kingdom Hearts 2 most bullshit fights, this is one of the first ones, if not the first one people think of. Zolden. So. Ow! He didn't even attack me, that was just... But he does that... Alright, so... He commands the element of wind, and, uh, will fucking abuse that. Because wind in this game is known for his defensive properties. Like that. He is now in arrow status. Meaning I can't fucking get near him. I probably should have saved more jumps. But you can get a metric ass load of jumps from it. Ooh, unlucky with the range. Nice up. Um, yep, poke him down a little bit. So. A lot of people at this point in the game don't know Reflect is super OP. Ooh, and he just fucking deletes me. If I was smart, I was stocked up on fucking. Kinda close in order to get off to get these jumps off. At least we'll learn them. Ooh! Alright, incoming fun part. I'm kinda just trying to chain invincibility frames through that. He will now begin to spam this. You from my understanding, you cannot dodge that by normal means. You have to reflect that. And since people don't know reflect the thing by this point... Oh, I might be dead here. Hmm.
Mike, can I go for here? Nope. Oh, okay. Caught him. Hmm. This might hurt. Got it. Unless I can get an immediate combo sword on him. Oh, I'm fucking lucky, dude. If I time this perfectly. Ooh, fucking perfect timing first try. Holy shit. Feels fucking good, man. Fuck you, kid. Whew, okay. Learn how to use Reflect, guys. <laughs> That's all I can say. Learn how to use Reflect. Buy a trophy earned. Buddy Romance. Beat that world. Learn how to use Reflect. <laughs> God, I feel like we're foreshadowing the final level or something. Anyway, let's see what the... Uh, you guys see that spookiness? Do you guys smell a final level? Hmm? Anyway, uh, but that's not until like another couple weeks from now. Alright, um, I'm gonna try to figure out how much of this game do I actually want to play. Because like, I could totally go sell out boys mode right now and be like... We do super bosses if we get this many subscribers and all that shit. So do we go? Do we, do I do sell out boys and try to get subs or? It's up to you guys here in chat. Cause I'm not super familiar with the, the super bosses. Like I know I know a few of them. Like I, I've beaten like a good amount of the data fights. Uh, I'm yet to beat Terra. Sephiroth is a fucking insect in this game. So what we doing? I take a sip of my drink. What we doing, boys? As I wait. <laughs> Do a couple barrels. Well, I mean, like, I'm going to be in the Illuminati call here in a second anyway, so. For those of you watching on YouTube, thank you all for watching. Appreciate it. Uh, I will fucking play this game again, uh, eventually. <laughs> Till then, take it easy.